Guys, tomorrow is the beginning of a brand new month, so let's get ready, let's get prepared. I'm gonna give you all of the release dates for the most hype sneakers dropping in April. Guys, I gotta tell you, April is looking pretty insane, like the best month ever in sneakers. Coming in at number 10 is the Jordan 1 Skyline. It's gonna be dropping on April the 8th. I know that they're loaded up for a bunch of different raffles here in the UK. I'm not entirely sure if they're loaded up on the Nike sneakers app out in the US. You can kind of look at this pair of Jordan 1s in two different perspectives. You can look at it and be like, yeah, it's something a little bit unique. It's got some bright colors. This could be a cool pair of ones that stands out from the rest of my Jordan 1 collection. Or you could look at it and be like, Jordan brand is running out of ideas for inspiration of their colorways. Either way, however you want to look at it, it's definitely going to be one of the most hype sneakers dropping this month. Coming in at number 9 on the list is a pair of shoes that has been anticipated for a long time now, and that is the Nike Ja 1. So this is arguably one of the most anticipated basketball sneakers ever, and it's also one of the most affordable. It seems like leading up to the release of these things, we've seen an infinite amount of different colorways that are going to be on the horizon, but the first launch pair is going to be dropping on April the 19th. From my understanding, the launch colorway is going to be this kind of light blue with the pink and yellow accents colorway. It's definitely going to be a lot of people after this pair of shoes. I definitely wouldn't be surprised if this thing sells out. Coming in at number 8 is the Nike Dunk Low Setsuban. Now, this is a pair of Dunk Lows that I believe was rumored to be a Japan exclusive. However, it turns out they're not going to be a Japan exclusive and they are releasing globally on April the 11th. To have a lot of interesting details and they are inspired by a different elements from Japan and I think the whole storyline behind it is really cool but regardless of all of that just the pair of shoes itself it's super clean not only are you getting a really solid colorway at least in my opinion but the actual materials are something a little bit different you've got a mini Nike swoosh you've got the embroidery towards the back heel the darker and lighter browns playing off of the purple accents I think makes for a super clean combination coming in at number seven is a pair of shoes that I'm sorry to say this but for you guys out in the US is heavily delayed it's the Jordan 3 three lucky green. These threes are dropping on April the 6th, pretty much everywhere else other than the US. The US, you guys are only getting a release of these things on May the 18th. So if you're on the US, you were highly anticipating this pair of sneakers, you, you gotta like a month to wait. Now the colorway is pretty self-explanatory. They're not reinventing the wheel whatsoever. It almost kind of looks like white cement threes just with the lucky green accents. Obviously you're not getting the Nike branding on the back. You do still have the Jumpman and it does only come in a woman's size run. So those are kind of some things you want to take into consideration. If you you are going to cop this pair of shoes, but generally speaking, it's a very clean pair. Coming in at number six is another, something a little bit different in terms of a Jordan 1. It's the Jordan 1 Washed Pink. This pair of shoes is part of the Washed Pack. I don't know if they're actually calling it a pack, but there's basically two different colorways, a Washed Black and then this Pink colorway. Now, the Washed Black is going to be releasing later down the line this year, but the Washed Pink is going to be dropping on April the 22nd. The materials are really where they change things up on this pair of shoes. It comes in a Washed Suede colorway, very, very similar to the Hyper Royals. If you take a look at all of that, you can see like the fading and everything. It's it's all on this pair of shoes. This is the woman's exclusive counterpart to this washed pack. So the black colorway is going to be coming in a full men's sizing, but this one just in the woman's sizing. You've got the vintage or sailed out midsole, which I think makes for a pretty clean combination. And overall, it's definitely a hyped pair of ones uh, and a pretty solid colorway in general. Taking the number five spot is the Jordan 13 Black Flint. Now this one is another pretty straightforward colorway. Uh, it's pretty much the Flint Jordan 13, but just swap out all of the navy for just black. And that's seriously just about it. But just a small change like that makes this pair of shoes look absolutely insane on foot. It's a super wearable colorway and I think the design of the Jordan 13 pops enough on foot. Like you've got a lot of really cool details on this pair of sneakers and they're gonna be dropping also on April the 22nd. Taking the number four spot is another pair of Jordan 3s. This time it's the Wizards colorway. So these are gonna be dropping right at the end of the month on April the 29th. And this is a pair of shoes that we've seen rumored for a very very long time and in my opinion it's one of the cleanest colorways. I absolutely love this one. This pair of threes is inspired by the PE that was made exclusively for Jordan when he was playing in 2001 with the Washington Wizards. So it's the first time that this pair of shoes gets an actual release so that definitely has some people excited but if you're just looking at this from strictly a Jordan 3 standpoint well it's definitely clean it's nothing insane but yeah it's a solid one. Top three territory and coming in at number three I'm joking you guys know I do the honorable mentions first let's get into that. Starting with Fear of God and Adidas. If you caught my upcoming sneakers episode from last Sunday, we spoke about the new leaks that surfaced about the Fear of God and Adidas collaboration. Essentially, there was this pair of basketball shoes that were circulating online, and also there was an all-white pair of slides that was also leaked and rumored. And as soon as those two shoes started doing the rounds online, Jerry Lorenzo actually addressed this and said that those are samples and they're not going to be releasing in this collaboration. Along with saying that, he also clarified when the first capsule of this collaboration 
PlayStation will be releasing, and he said April the 19th. Now, why this is an honorable mention? Because one, we don't know exactly what's going to drop, so we have no idea if it's just clothing or if it's actually going to be sneakers. We also don't know anything about the release, how it's going to happen, etc., etc. So I thought I'd safely put this in as an honorable mention because we're so vague on a lot of the details. Another honorable mention would be the Jackie Robinson Air Force One. This is the second sneaker honoring Jackie Robinson, the first one being the Dunks, and those things are absolutely phenomenal, but very hard to get your hands on. If you want the next best thing, I think this pair of forces is super clean. And in terms of release date, we don't actually have one. We know that they're just going to be dropping at some time here in April. And my last honorable mention is the Jordan 11 Low Cement Gray. This is a very clean pair of 11s, great for the summertime, and these are actually dropping tomorrow on April the 1st. No, that's not an April Fool's joke. They are literally dropping. If you're not there, you're, you're probably going to miss out. Actually, I don't think they're going to sell out. All right, top three. Let's do this, guys. Coming in at number three, and I feel like a damn fool for even still talking about this pair of shoes the Off-White Air Force One Mid Pine Green. Yes, the pair of shoes that has had a bazillion different release dates, but listen, I'm gonna cross my fingers, it should finally be releasing here in April. If you've been following this, guys, I feel like this pair of shoes has been included in this top 10 every month for like the past three or four months. Every single time, it keeps getting pushed back, but apparently these are going to be dropping on April the 28th. Now, because this release is towards the end of the month, don't expect Raffles and the Nike Sneakers app to load these things up until way closer to the release, but uh, just know April the 28th, that's when you should finally get your opportunity at this pair of forces. Taking the number two spot is the Celtics Jordan 1. Yes, we've got a bunch of Jordan 1s dropping this month, but by far the cleanest pair has to be this Celtics colorway. Now, these are going to be dropping on April the 15th. They come in a super clean color blocking that I think a lot of people are excited about. There's not too much to say about this pair of shoes. We won't really know all of the details until people start getting them in hand and actually feel the leather quality and everything like that, but just based off of the colorway, I'm down for them and I'm definitely gonna grab them. All right, the number one spot, the most hyped sneaker. You guys know what this is. Of course, it's the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low in the olive colorway. That's right, guys, the end of an era. This is going to be the final Jordan 1 from the Travis Scott collaboration. And I gotta say, they definitely saved one of the best for last. Maybe not the best, but it's certainly a solid colorway. These are gonna be dropping on April the 26th. And again, we've been through this quite a few times now already with a bunch of different and Travis Scott Jordan ones, you know that the release is going to be extremely hard. And to add icing on top of this painful L cake, uh, this is a woman's exclusive, so they will be doing extended sizing, but those extended sizes will be incredibly limited. So if you're someone who wears a size 11 or up, I have bad news for you. I'm sorry, but it's going to be damn near impossible to get your hands on these. You won't have to wait long to figure that out. In the next couple weeks, Raffles and uh, the Nike sneakers app should all load up uh, for you to get prepared and ready. But there you have it, guys. That is the 10 most hyped sneakers dropping this month in April. Now listen, yesterday I unboxed a pair of Jordan 1s that are just ridiculously clean. They're also super limited, but if you want to check them out, that video is right over there.